This is video number 549. How to be the best employee at your work, even if you are the cleaner. I once read the story of a janitor at NASA. He was busy sweeping the floors when a news reporter stopped at him and asked, So, what do you do here at NASA? The janitor replied while continuing to sweep the floors, I'm part of the team that's sending the first team ever to the moon. I'm part of that team. My responsibility is in preventing the astronauts from slipping on wet floors. The moral of the story is to find your value and embrace the talks that God has given you. I love this story. Be the best version of yourself, even if you have to scrub the floors or worse, scrub the toilet. I recently met Frank Rotenbach, actor from Faith Flight Potatoes, when he shared the story that he was, a sh was on a shipwrecked emotional moment where the only work he could get in Hollywood was sweeping floors. He decided to also be the best janitor with his job. This was after his worldwide fame of being one of the lead actors in Faith Luck Potatoes. I recently witnessed this beautiful picture in 3D manifestation. The word had become flesh kind of moment. We arrived at the McCarty House Museum unexpectedly. We just had a fantastic Italian lunch. Very cliche, the pizza and white wine with deep philosophical conversations embedded in our little Italian bubble in the middle of African soil, on the outskirts of Gauteng. So as we drove home, we spotted the sign museum. Not both of us are Please note, both of us are at most extreme nerds for history, so we simply could not resist driving past this little gem. The time was 4.15pm on a Saturday afternoon. The museum was busy locking their doors as their operating hours were only until 4pm on weekends. I was operating on all my cylinders, maybe it was the wine. Maybe it was the hunger to treasure South African history, you can decide. But I begged the young girl, please can we have a quick, super quick peek around? And she agreed. Enter Simone, the 21-year-old tour guide. She refused a quick look around. No, she insisted on giving us the carte blanche to her, even though we were after operating hours. She gave us the full monte on the tour. She is the walking, talking encyclopedia of nuggets of information about culinary and the early days and the glory days. She does a beautiful tango dance between historical, accurate facts like the Wikipedia style, including all the dates, imaginary hat off to you, dearest sweet Simone, and also to the other side, the flip side of a myriad of senseless fun facts. Here, yeah, she said to me, handing me one of the McCarty daughter's hair clips. Today, she said, we use plastic clips. Almost a century ago, they used metal ones. The next sentence, she switched over to the Wikipedia format again. How sweet and informative all of this for an after hour tour for us. Not only her willingness to be of assistance, was the first deep step into my heart for her. But she confided to me that she had some mental handicap difficulty due to a virus in her toddler days. So for her to memorize and capture all of these facts is like the rest of, for the rest of us, like memorizing a Shakespeare novel weekly, a new one. Once again, my imaginary hat goes off to dear and sweet Simone. We constantly complain and groan about the low levels of motivation and work ethics in South Africa. Can we do more to recognize these little strikes of brilliance and genius walking among us? Can we spend some time pondering girls like Simone? After our thorough, in-depth, full monte tour, showing us the first flushing toilet in Cullinan, 
which was such a brilliant scenery for the residents of Kalinan almost a century ago that Mr. McCarty had to break through a different door for the public to come and view this engineering wonder. Simone showed us her jewelry the, her jewelry that she makes and sells. She was gleaming at this stage with pride and satisfactory, satisfactory craftsmanship. Unfortunately, neither one of us, the history nerds, had any cash on us, but I fully commit to buy, buy loads of jewelry with my next visit. I almost want to broadcast this, shout it from the roof to the tops. If you and your team needs motivation, instead of booking for a walk on fire, rather take them to the McCarty House Museum. Let them see, let them taste what is a loyal, inspired and enthusiastic employee. And please, take bags of cash along to invest in Simone's jewellery business.